Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Sorry. We are going to discuss very, very important facts in this class, as well as some questions, answers of our ongoing APSC mains model question answer session of this question paper five. So first, what are stress in India? From this picture, after look at the paper, it says that 600 million Indians are facing high to extreme stress over water. Now, some data are like India has 4% of the world's fresh water, which has to cater 17% of the world's population. So India is not world fresh water 4% but kintu, that has to cater 17% of the world's population because India has 17% of the world's population and approximately 600 million people or roughly around 45% of the population in India is facing high to severe water stress. So around 45% of our Indian population is facing high to severe water stress. That is almost 600 million people. Now, as per the report, 21 Indian cities will run out of their main source of water. And what is the main source of water? Groundwater. Okay. So the it was a report of published by 2020, but this is now also relevant. And then nearly 40% of the population will have absolutely no access to drinking water by 2030. And 6% of Indian GDP will be lost by 2050 due to the water crisis. So this is the water stress in India and about it some data. Now, as per Niti Aayog report that released in 2019, India is facing the worst ever water crisis in the history. And it this disastrous water crisis has been creeping up on us for years. Water tables have declined precipitously, means even by the thousands of feet in some parts of Punjab, Haryana, and Andhra Pradesh, tanks and well have drawn dry. So water tables have declined precipitously. Mane Hoseki, Amarji to water table as a bohut tololegue as a bohut mane hoske kobolo is a pukai goise mana panikini dine dine bohut komi goise aro kekini specially Punjab, Haryana, Ron Topo de Kornishina, Raijo Kinit de Kibole Puagoise. And we all know that most of the states are having semi arid kind of climate. Then some rivers have shrunk, while other smaller ones have completely dived. If we go through the peninsular India's river, then maximum of rivers dried up. Then uh, the question that can be framed from this data is that discuss the current status of water bodies in India and what are the major issues affecting their distribution and utilization. So, you know, Ministry of Zalsakti Amata Ministry of Zalsakti the report Publish Korise, release Korise. Our head was a first ever water census, water bodies census. Mane water bodies, Hokolo, the water bodies, water bodies, compass of Nalukan is so. Ama water bodies, Bulikula Mikibuzu, Pukuri Buzu, Babil, Henuga Honor Potata census, first census conduct Korise, Ministry of Zolz of Tier, Aru, Kiri Hill Korise, the crucial insights into a country's. Water resources. The census provides an extensive inventory of water sources in India, highlighting the disparities between rural and urban areas and varying levels of encroachment. You can see that from this diagram, West Bengal is having higher number of water, highest number of water bodies than Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, and Assam. One lakh seventy-two thousand. At least I'm Okhomot data to monitor. Keep it. Okhomot kiman water bodies is a Ministry of Zolz of the first ever census or pra me compare to one lakh seventy-two thousand four hundred ninety-two. One lakh seventy-two thousand four hundred ninety-two and Assam is at which position? From this, uh, it is very clear that Assam is having fifth position now. West Bengal once, Uttar Pradesh two, Andhra Pradesh three, Orissa four, Assam five. Now, uh, West Bengal, I mean, Zitul Sabatke highest to say, you have to remember that also that is 747480, 747480, and Assam 172, 172 means 1,72,492, sorry, 1,72,492. So, this mass of water bodies we are having now. 
you can see that uh, total of uh, 24, 24, 5, 4, 0. 24, 24, 5, 4, 0 water bodies across the county. And West Bengal having the highest one. And West Bengal, I mean, it's a company, 747, 480, 747, 480. And our Assam, we have a issue, 172, 492. 1,72,492. So West Bengal has the highest number of ponds and reservoirs. Andhra Pradesh has the highest number of tanks. Tamil Nadu has the highest number of lakhs. Maharashtra leads uh, in water conservation schemes. Aking all of that. Huh? Then report also highlights that 97.1% 97 of the water bodies are in rural areas and only 2.9% in urban areas. See, in urban areas, we need maximum amount of water because population is much more in the urban areas. But from this data, it is very much clear that the water bodies are maximum in rural areas. That is almost 97%. That is 97.1%. And only 2.9%. That is only 3% in urban areas. Then most of the water bodies are ponds. Followed by tanks, reservoirs, water conservation schemes, percolation tanks, and check dams, lakes, others, etc. Now, what are the uh, major issue issues affecting the distribution and utilization? Kiki, Karone, Abilak, Hamar, distribution, do data disparity, the First of all, encroachment. The census has collected the data on the encroachment of water bodies for the first time, revealing that 1.6% of all enumerated water bodies are encroached. And with 4% of encroachment in the rural areas and the remaining 4.6% in urban areas. Urban areas, Jot Neki, water body, Hoinka, Bohute, Kom, Matami, Deki, Silu, the 3%, 2.9%, almost 3% as a water body. Urban areas are water, um, rural area 97. Kinto encroachment, urban area, basic, Hoise, right. 4.6% encroachment in urban areas are 4% in rural areas. So, this e encroachment is a very uh, significant uh, role play kore. in bad sense, of course. Uh, a significant percentage of encroachment cover more than 75% of water bodies areas. Then, pollution and non-portable water. Water sources around the city are also polluted due to the direct discharge of domestic sewage into the drains and canals it is a danger problem hoy direct discharge of domestic sewage into the drains and canal is a major problem so pollution and non uh, potable water then farming practices changes in farming patterns lead to the consumption of more water for irrigation and also change the soil profile because of the use of fertilizers the states you know like Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Jharkhand, they are home to almost half of India's population along with the majority of its agricultural produce. There is also a lack of interest in maintaining India's traditional water harvesting structures. So, bohut khet tot. Irrigation or water depend kora hoi se. Aro khetu yata mana enuka koi dependable hoi goi se. Suppose apna luke bohut basic fertilizer use kore fertilizer use kar karne of course soil profile jitu asa ta upor effect kori ba soil paper profile to effect kori le e e uh, yat aru mane jiman water lagi sile tat ko hoyto basic water poison hobo so obviously water consumption rate is increasing aru eta kotha je ami agote water harvesting structures ba water harvesting korat gurutto disilu kintu etia water harvesting Calm hoi goi se. Then climate change jo yata region hoi. Lower precipitation hoi se. Then unplanned development hoi se city resort. Failure of state government to check unplanned development and exploitation of water resources. There is no attempt at the center or strength level to manage the water quantity and quality. Then vegetation for pattern has changed. Tea cover is shrinking. Unscientific dumping of debris in water stream is rampant. So ekinu hoi se. Vegetation pattern to send hoi se. Tree cover to kati kora hoi se. Tree cover we all know what is tree cover, right? Tree cover shrink hoi se. Even amar ahamote bohut shrink hoi se. Not is not shrink hoi se. Then uh, unscientific dumping of the debris in water streams. 
uh, by uh, you can uh, write like that water bodies or you can write like wetlands is also rampant then debris blocks the natural course of water bodies and increasing number of tube wells tube wells resulting in the depletion of groundwater so increasing number of tube wells tube wells or hoinkha bahigol tube wells actually we, we know that tube wells can get work with groundwater Groundwater extraction of our name tube well use we use tube wells for groundwater extraction. So if the number of tube wells are include is increasing, then what happened? The depletion of groundwater will happen. So what will be the measures? First, groundwater measures management is of utmost importance in urban areas where 50% of water is drawn from ground, right? <clears throat> so groundwater management basically good to devolve again. As for example, encroachment of flood. Plot plain, groundwater research are areas to work with. Then, they will like area calm kuribo pa, groundwater research can I get kuribo pa, he will like good to the bolage. Naga plot plain encroachment, yeah, it to put calm kuribo lage, can I get encroachment, uh, ami bondo kuribo paru, how we can stop the encroachment we have to focus on. So, these are the areas where we can work for groundwater management and loss of green cover. In urban areas and heat island affects our regions for depleting water sources. So for that, what we can do? Urban forest needs to be created like in Are Mumbai. Are Mumbai, apna luke netot shale gompabo. Baji hokol goise gompabo. Urban forest so concept to that develop crossel. Urban forest mana kiyo isse. Sohor ekhon sohor. Sohor khonot jene ke mana forest mana ami etam etu kobo bichra na jay etam. You are creating a kind of national park or you can say wildlife sanctuary it's a kind of urban forest ek to urban area tar usorot ami eta forest artificially grow koraisu so that is known as urban forest okay so we have to uh, work on these issues even in guwahati also uh, current status is okay but after a few years you will see that how the guwahati is growing and how it will impact it with less green cover. So we have to think about it right now. We have to plan for urban forest kind of activities near Guwahati also and other towns areas like Jorhat, Riburgar. So, so that this type of problems will not occur. So loss of green cover in urban areas and heat island affects are the regions which can be uh, which can be said that which can be um, means which which are the main reason actually for the depleting water resources and that can be tackled with uh, activities like urban forest development. Then the Ministry of Water Resource must reconfigure its relationship with other ministries and departments like urban development, local uh, self-government environment. And hence integration and coordination are needed through effective land and water zoning regulation that prevent, that protect urban water bodies, groundwater sources, wetlands, green cover, Simultaneously working to enhance the waste water recycling. See, also we have to focus on waste water uh, recycling. Remember, we are talking about grey water. Okay, except <coughs> we are not considering that uh, the water from toilet. Uh, except toilet, we can uh, recycle the other water. We can reuse the other water. We have to focus on those technologies and then water research activities. We have to uh, target. Right. And rainwater harvesting, this type of traditional uh, stock search should be adopted and focus. What, what, what should be the focus? Focus is to shift from water supply infrastructure creation to water management via, by service delivery. So we have to focus on water management rather than water supply infrastructure creation. There is a need to pay focus attention and subsequent planning for the efficient uses of freshwater bodies and management managing the demand side of water management is very crucial in india you know india cannot increase the per capita availability of water it is constrained but still we can uh, tackle this per capita you know amar potijonor karane kiman khini thakibo lage water ha he kini komi ahi ase hetu ami bahut crucial hoy tuk tu ami change koribo noaru change koribo paim it will take time but it will need free some plant activities so country needs to have a specific plan for water stress states and participation 
see only government cannot do everything participation of individuals like you and me then civil civic societies like ngos and different communities in the water management process is quite missing here right we individually participate the ngos just participate even in community participation in the water management is very much needed the role of Jal Sakti Ministry is thereby limited in handling the water crisis situation in the country until the coordination and participation of people is there for using the water prudently. So we have to focus on using the water in a prudent manner, right? So how we can conclude? Primarily, water is not valued in India. You have to say that even in Assam, um, if you go to the um, some uh, villages, then some villages means uh, you go to that part where water is available like anything, then you can say that you can see, you can observe that water has no value. In India, the same condition. What Primarily, water is not valued in India. People just think that it is free. Now, in order to meet the future urban rural water challenges, their needs to be achieved in the way we manage our water systems and integrated water management approach. See, integrated water management um, uh, approach should be needed or should be adopted, which involves managing the fresh water, wastewater, and storm water using an urban rural area as the unit of management. So, amaki lage ata integrated water management approach. Integrated kyo kuchh amik yat bhot ke taman body include kori shu. Zine ki a fresh water hoy gol, waste water hoy gol, but storm water kini manage kori bo. Azar babe urban rural area e gutte kini ke hamori dobo. So we need an integrated water management approach. That involves managing fresh water, wastewater, and storm water using an urban or rural area as the unit of management. Our Ketaman question I say, I hope this question now is uh, understood by understandable, uh, obviously, because but this question is um, I'm expecting that this uh, some questions may be framed with this topic, so that's why I have included this, and this may be a part of GS paper one. Okay. I hope you have understood this. We can have a discussion through the comment section. If any question, any uh, recent update on the data, you can just comment it. Our Ketaman question, Rakisu, Mikun Kale discuss Korea Su. Thank you very much. Bye bye.